How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Zephonic's channel. Today we're building the high-grade Beetle Fighters, the Tri Burn and Gundam. Let me kind of put in a little bit of personal uh, opinion. So, you know, what I remember about this series is the character don't know anything about Gundam. Every time he won is by luck and BS hex. <laughs> that's my that's my impression. The gunpla is very good, but the character in it. Okay, let's not go any further. Example, I'm, I think I'm gonna get hate from that. But you know, I don't hate the series. I just think that's pretty ridiculous on choosing a person who don't know anything about Gundam to pilot a it's such a good bullshit or gunpla. But anyways, that's that's another story. Let, let's not talk about that. Um, so you know, first looking at the side. So uh, we got some action gimmick, uh, some battle actions, and the burning burst system and at the other side we got some information and the looks when uh, the tri burning burst off all the armor so you know let's quickly turn around and open the box so ooh, very clear very clear one two three four five six six packages and let's turn around. So, you know, this is the instruction book. So, Kamiki Sekai. And, um, yeah, I don't like. Fine. I I'm not making any comments anymore. Um, so, let's look at it. So, we got some front view, rear view, some introduction in Japanese. And the Team Tri Fighters uh, mobile suit. We got the uh, Lightning Gundam FB. And we got the Star Winning Gundam. And based on the build burning and taking the idea of the shining and the master gundam well actually i actually think the tri burning looks like the god gundam and the shining gundam isn't it they didn't say based on anything but i do feel like uh it looks like that well let's look at it so we got some effect parts putting on guide we got some um so let's quickly flip through all right all right cool Right, so it took me a while to open up all the, you know, runners and, you know, try, let's start looking at it. So the E runner, we got the torso part and the antenna. D runner, we got all three parts, it's the waist and the torso. That's the, which part was that? That's the H1 uh, runner, uh, it's the clear blue effect part at the, also, uh, on the gunpla. That's the... E F four evac part number four. Uh, this is the uh, the burning burst uh, evac parts. That's the E F two. Uh, it's for the it's for the punches and the burning burst evac part as well. That's the A runner. We got a lot of hand options and uh, we got some uh, connector of the hands. We got some thrusters. Some uh, inner frame joint and some backpack parts as well. That's the G runner, all the outside armor, the legs, uh, knees, uh, arms, head, and shoulders. That's the C runner. The C runner is the red part of the uh, mobile suit, which is the torso and the feet, and some shoulder part as well. B runner, the waist, some side skirt, feet, uh, the ankles, and no, not the ankles, the, the uh, lower leg armor, and the hands, that's hands, I, 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 I'm not actually sure, and uh, EF3, we got the punches, now this is the actual punches effect parts, and podcasts, and a, this time I'm very happy, a very small sticker, three pieces, one for the eye, one for the camera, and not sure what the last one for. We'll find it out, you know. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys at the review.
Oh, welcome back to the review of the Tri Burning Gundam. I honestly, though, I didn't take too long to build this since this Gunpla basically just have hand option and no accessory except the uh, evac parts. Uh, it's very quick to build though. It's probably took me like, what, six hours? <laughs> Include the panel lighting and some rest. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty quick kit to build and the finish is very good. It's actually very good. You can, like, I extremely like the clear parts on the uh, Gunpla. You know, the clear parts looks make the um, Gunpla looks very fancy and I very like that. And you know, this kit don't have too much accessories if you the guy if you like the type of guy like a lot of weapons then nope <laughs> this one doesn't have too much accessory. All all it got is the effect parts and the uh hand options. But you know, it's still a pretty cool kit to check out. Even though the storyline, okay, we we not talking about the storyline, okay, but let's end that conversation. But you know, anyways, I'm gonna jump to the review. Let's start looking from the head. So head move up, down, and 360, no problem at all. The head actually have a very simple design this time. All you need is like four pieces, and it's step on together. It's very simple this time, and it does have a uh, two stickers uh, at the eyes and the camera and the back camera don't have any stickers the articulation on the arms are is a ball joint and uh, it can move up 90 rotation rotation 360 no backpack because there's no backpack interruption uh, the arms can bend up uh, a pretty good angle uh, it can also rotate as well uh, as well as the hands down here the hands had an actual extra joint that you can move the wrist at uh, a certain angle and also it does have a small feature when you move when you move the hands you can actually pull the armor on the torso to gain a little more movement the waist part the waist part could go up down up down side and the whole gunplay can twist 360 because there's no anything uh, getting in the way the side skirt can lift up about uh, 30, uh, 30 degrees and the front skirt could move up about 90 degrees the legs the legs can kick to the side about close to 90 degrees it can kick to the front over 90 degrees kick to the back kick to the back about 30 and the whole leg could bend a very good angle and also the the feet down here is a ball joint so you can move side to side uh, up and down as well and by the way this piece of um, armor here is actually very easy to pop out so uh, when you move the feet uh, make sure you be careful because uh, sometimes it might pop out if you don't want to pop out I suggest you just screw it and let's just quickly show you the backpack the backpack don't have anything to look at though it's just clear parts and uh, with two white pieces that snap it on so we have a lot uh, we have a lot of hand options here actually uh so beside beside the fist hand that i put it on to the gumpa we have a flat hand and uh, open hand and some weapon holding hand as well so in case you want to hold uh make the gumpa hold something but you know you have a lot of hand options that you can choose so you can you know adjust to whatever position you want but the sell point of this gumpa uh it's not on the hands it's on the burning burst system and i'm going to show you how to do, uh do it by pass swapping right now i'm going to show you how to do the burning burst system so first you remove the backpack and pull the top piece out and then all you have to do is just plug the parts with the clear parts on and now all you have to do is just remove every single piece of clear parts on the gunpla so i quickly take out all the clear pieces because you know uh, by the way when you take out the uh, clear pieces you need to be careful uh, you don't want to scratch them because you know it, it's kind of hard to take it out so i just try my best to kind of poke it out i forgot to poke out the centerpiece there we go okay so now uh the part that we need to take out is the side uh torso the shoulders the arms front and back uh the torso the legs the uh, side of the legs and the back of the legs as well as and then the side skirt so all the parts take off and now what you have to do is just follow whatever the instruction book said and then put on the clear part and i'll uh, and i'll show you what it looks like after i put on all of them 
So that is what it looks like after you put on all the effect power. Now it looks very, very powerful. I extremely like the bursting looking shape and it looks pretty good. You know, if you're a professional on a Gunpla, you can try to put a light in each clear part and then, you know, kind of light it up. I'm sure the effect is going to be better. But, you know, I'm not a professional, so forget about that. And, uh, you know, overall it looks very good. And, you know, it comes with a pretty good thing. Uh, it comes with a fist, two fist uh, effect part that you can put it on. And, you know, you can have this, you know, long effect part for like the the smashing effect is it I, I'm not actually sure but you know you can you can switch between that and also you have the likes you had the you had the one for the likes and you know all you have to do is just plug it in you know when you put on the likes effect part you should look like that I think it's a pretty cool feature though you can you know kind of remake the anime scene uh, of the kicking and the punching is very good though and the burning burst system i extremely love it you know this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoy this you know uh it's a very cool looking uh gumpler but you know as i said the storyline let's just forget about that and you know let's just take a look take a moment and look at how awesome it is for the effects and you know i try my best to do some poses you know sorry i'm not the professional at uh, making poses but you know that looks pretty good. So, uh, you know, this is the end of the review. And if you like my videos, drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for uh, more Gumpa reviews. And I will definitely see you next time. Goodbye.